Hey guys, Action Movie Dad here with a really quick uh, trailer editing tip. Um, I do a lot of uh, random work where I'm making fake trailers or things that have the aesthetic of trailers, and one of the most common things in them is the nice, like, stroby, um, cut to black kind of thing. And I used to always do it in a really complicated way, and today I discovered something that was really simple to do it. Uh, I'm going to use a clip from our latest video as a sample to do it. And I'm going to import an awesome sound effect from uh, Motion Pulse, which has this whole trailer hit section. Uh, it has these sound effects that are some choppy sound effects like uh, this. Yeah. So, a lot of fun. You've heard those sounds in trailers before. And usually what they do is they pair the uh, strobing of that sound with some strobing of the images. And I used to always go about it a really complicated way, like I would go in and start like chopping my thing up into a bunch of things and then going and like deleting every other one or something like that. So when it played back, it would kind of go like bup, 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 bup. But uh, it was really annoying to do precisely or anything like that. And it, just, it seemed like a lot of stupid work. So I learned this new trick where I can add a new uh, black video solid drag it on top of this little piece. Let me trim it down a little bit. And then you can add in a strobe effect. It's under stylize video effects. And what a strobe effect does basically under the effect controls here, strobe light, it just strobes the color white every for half a second every one second by default. So let me show you what that looks like. So um, what I do is I make the strobe duration much shorter than that. Um, I start with like 0.5 seconds as an example, and I want the period to be pretty fast too. So let's start with uh, 0.10 seconds and see what that looks like. So uh, warning if you're uh, sensitive to fast strobing. Yeah, kind of cool. Uh, so what's neat about that is it's really easy to throw in this strobe light effect on a solid. And then in the solids blending mode up here, you can change the blend mode to multiply. And now suddenly you have this cool thing where you play the clip and then suddenly you can bring in the strobe. You can make the strobe last the whole length of the thing or whatever. And especially when paired with a nice sound effect, just kind of sync it up like this. You get this really cool trailer-esque cut. Neat, huh? So. Dumb, but uh, add the strobe effect to a black solid if you ever need to do a strobe effect in a trailer. It's much faster than chopping it up and doing it manually. Have a good one.